my channel. I'm in the kitchen. It's not going to be a bacon slash cooking video. Sorry to disappoint um, as you can tell by the title. We're going to be doing a kitchen organization video. So it's been on my to-do list for quite some time. We have a, a, you know, a fairly decent sized kitchen. It's not massive. It's by no means small, but it, I mean, I spend a lot of my time in the kitchen. In fact, I spend, I'd say 78% of my day in the kitchen, either cooking or <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be going through the whole kitchen, giving you guys a tour of what it currently looks like, and then I'm gonna be doing a bit of an organizer. So we're gonna get everything out of the cupboards, go through, check like sell-by dates, um, maybe reorganize some stuff that's been maybe a little bit neglected. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this as like a method of de-stressing and hopefully adding some form of organization into the household. So let me give you a quick tour of the current stitch and then you can get an idea of what we're working with. But if you are new here, hello, hi, my name's Luke. I make YouTube videos and put them out into the internet. If you do want to click the subscribe button, it would mean the absolute world. I post a lot of like food, lifestyle, all that kind of content. So um, yeah, thank you so much for joining. Grab a cup of tea. I feel like it's going to be a long one. Let's get cracking. Okay, so when you walk into the kitchen, you're met with our fridge. And then this is like the main workspace that I use for a lot of my bacon, as you guys can recognize. I've got the KitchenAid, I've got um, some cookbooks, the kitchen scales, some cake that we made recently, some plain flour because there's no room in the bacon cupboard, so it's definitely need to get sorted out. The blender, an espresso machine, and then this is kind of, yeah, this is a corner that we need to add some some life to. Um, we've got these little pits here. I'm presuming this video is probably gonna go live maybe after Easter. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little Easter egg hunt. That's why I've got these. These are some cookies that I ordered from the internet. These are like protein cookies, and they're actually not that great, so I'm not really too pleased with them. But again, there's no room in the cupboards for them. Our fruit bowl, a little print that I need to put on the wall. This is a plant I need to get a plant for, but obviously, given what's going on at the minute, I don't wanna go plant shopping, so yeah. This is our little cooking area. So we've got the oven, a little cupboard here that's got our, um, like pans and pots and stuff in. A stool, which we use for painting, but we have no storage for, so I might see if I can try and like rearrange that somewhere, because it's not the most sightly thing to have out. And then there's like pasta jars and things like that, our clock. And then this is just some more storage that we've got, but it's basically just got our boiler in. Um, I'll open this out so you guys can see. So this, we just keep um, like the iron, some like picnic bags, and like things that we use for picnics in the summer. I've just got a dustpan and brush a bag that I put the Nespresso capsules in, our iron board, and our Hoover, or vacuum cleaner, depending on what you call it. And like I say, this is just the boiler. And then underneath, so yeah, this again isn't really like the worst, basically. I do a lot of like food photography for Instagram, so I do have some tiles and floor panels that I use as backdrops. I've got like our mop, our brush, a grill, a waffle iron, some Christmas decorations, some paint and things, and Zara's little throw off when she sits outside. And then we just have our little kitchen sink area here. As you can see, it's kind of broke up into segments, which isn't the best in terms of like functionality, but I mean, it works. And then here we have the second bulk of our kitchen. So we've got some cabinets up top, cabinets at the bottom with drawers, our washing machine, and then I've just got my coffee machine here, the bread bin with some bread and eggs, toaster, kettle, that's pretty much it. So it's not in like really bad nick, like it looks fine. I just know that what I'm about to show you is nothing short of madness. So here we go. One cupboard, two cupboards, three and four. So yeah, these are very well stocked, very full to the brim cupboards. Now, this is my bacon cupboard. As you know, I do a lot of bacon. So things in here are things I use pretty much every single day. So we've got like flowers, just just jars of things, you know, like um, oils, we've got extracts, sugars, some of these are empty, so I can definitely do some decanting today. And um, we've got like different types of flour, sesame seeds, nuts, and um, these are just full of like equipment. Oh my gosh, do you see what I mean? <laughs> so these are full of like um, equipment that I use, scales, and up top we've got like some tins. This is our dry store cupboard, so we've got a lot of spices, and um, we've got like pearl barley, yeah, that needs some attention. Um, again, we've got like canned things here. Again, needs a dressing. 
Then this is my secondary bacon cupboard that is not looking the best organized at all. And then we've just got some overspill of like some dry store bits and protein powders, some oats, some juice. Again, this is our, I mean, I don't even know what this is. It's just got a bit messy and this is our treat cupboard, so we have lots of treats and things in there. Yeah, we need to address that for sure. Then over here, this is absolutely fine. This is just our bowls, and I've got our slow cooker down there, and a couple of spare mugs. This actually isn't too bad at all. This is our glasses and cups. This is actually looking very organized. Maybe I can tidy up there a little bit. In this cupboard, we just have all of our reusable bottles up there. Me and are a big advocate of using coffee cups and bottles where possible to save as much plastic as we can. And then this is my coffee section, and this is our tea section. And here we just have cutlery. This is our SHIT drawer. <laughs> this is the drawer where we have just no organization at all. And then the bottom is Tupperware and extra bits of kitchen equipment. Then this is our cleaning section. So we just have basically all of the bits we use to clean. It's pretty well stocked at the minute. Again, I can maybe give that a little bit of a tidy, but yeah, it's looking pretty good for the minute. And then in here, this is just full of our pots and pans and frying pans and bacon trays. So realistically, this is what's gonna take up the majority of my time today because this just all needs to be pulled out and gone through. So the first section that I'm going to tackle is our dry store and spice section. So I'm just going to pull all of that out. The bacon cupboard doesn't actually need that much addressing at all. It's pretty functional. It's just very full because I have a lot of things. But maybe there's some things I can definitely check in there. But this is the one that's going to take some time. So let's go. <laughs> This cupboard is completely empty now and I'm going to use some of this method anti-back just to spray each of the shelves and give them a little bit of a wipe. And this is what I'm about to sort through. So I've kind of tried to, I mean, somewhat categorize it into like spices. As you can tell, we do use a lot of spices. Um, in fact, there's there's probably so many spices here. <laughs> like I say, I love to cook. We've got like stock cubes that we can definitely condense down. Um, like things like gravy granules, um, like lentils and things that there's some empty jars lying around. I can definitely utilize those. And things like salt and chilies and things that are absolutely fine. And things like coconut oil that maybe there's like a tiniest little bit left that I can maybe look at using recently. Um, things like these, it's like a little bit left. You know, so it might just be worth just emptying that out. But things like pastas and stuff, they're all good to go. So yeah, we just need to give it a little bit of a clean, then pop everything back in. So I feel like a spice rack would be really great and it would free up so much more storage on here. So maybe that can be something that I look at on Amazon, but for the time being, I just have this spice rack here, which is, it's not really a spice rack, it's like a spice tray. So I just have a little filter through these just to see if there's any that there's like duplicates of that I can condense down and then pop back into the cupboard. <laughs> to put all of our stock cubes in. So I'm just gonna unscrew the lid of our stock cubes into here. So this empty jar, I'm gonna decant our arboreal risotto right in. So on this shelf, I'm gonna do all of our rices, pulses, and grains. So I'm gonna do risotto rice. This is pearl barley. Go up there. This is a gigantic jar of couscous, so that's going to go. Ideally, we'd have more of these jars, but obviously we do have them scattered around the flat. This is some red lentils, so I'm going to pop those up there as well. And I'm going to put some dry pasta sheets up there too, because they're just a like dry store. They're still in date, so they're fine. Just just going to some more stock cubes, so I'll pop those in there. In fact, I completely decided against that. I'm going to bring those down and the top is going to be for all of our cans and jars because I feel like that's where we're getting mixed up before. So I'm going to take those down and pop them on here. So 
So in this crate, I've just got all of our like sachets. So we've got like some pilau rices, things that you can just bang in the microwave. We don't actually have a microwave, but we pop those in the pans. We've got like some stirring sauces, just things that we can like access really easily. So all of these I've just popped into a little wooden crate and I'm just gonna pop those up here. I'm gonna grab a pasta shell as well. Okay, so all of that is gonna go in there like so. So we're gonna do things like grave granules, so we've got some beef store and some regular, so we'll pop those up there to see. And then up top I'm just gonna to put things that we don't really access that often, so things like chili flakes that we don't need. We've got some excess pastas, so I'm just gonna pop those up there to see. that we do need to tackle is this one now I'm genuinely I, oh, I feel like we're gonna discover some absolute treats in here and um, this is like I said was our treat shelf and then this was our like breakfast shelf but they've kind of just become muddled in amongst everything so um yeah we need to just try and define some sort of organization so I'm just gonna pull everything out <laughs> these jars um they were actually here when we moved in but i've just had a look and they're from ikea and they've just been at the back of our cupboard and never really got around to using them but what i'm going to do is fill them up with some breakfast cereals because that's obviously what they're there for and they have the airtight lids as well so you can literally just clip them on like, so you can just clip them on like so and then just flip them open and pour <laughs> This is all of our breakfast cereals and that is looking pretty tidy and I love that they're perspex as well so you can actually see into them. So we've got some like crunchy cereal here like granola clusters and porridge, there's actual protein granola, these are some wheat bisques and this is muesli. So we've got breakfast stuff for days. <laughs> So we are looking a lot more organized in here. So the system I've kind of went for is all of our like sweet treats, which I know there is a lot, but um, we've just got little, I mean, some of these are very kindly gifted for some brands and stuff like that. So we've got like some chocolates, like more chocolates, some cereal bars at the back. And then I've just condensed our little sweet treat section down in here. So there's more like sweets at the back. And then these are like chocolates that we use for bacon. Some of these are about to go out of date, but hopefully we can get our way through them. They're like Christmas presents and stuff. To be honest, we aren't like massive like chocolate eaters and a lot of people do buy us chocolate so we need to definitely reinforce that we're good on the chocolate part. Um, and then on this side, I've just got some cooking oils and sauces, things that we just have like excess of. So like some uh, like white lasagna sauce, some jam and some chili, some sauces, and then two packs of flour just because I go through so much flour with all of my bacon. And then underneath, I have all of like our superfood pouches. We've got like the things that we put in smoothies. Our proteins are all up there. We've just got some excess almond milk, some juice, my creatine, and then all of our breakfast bits in the corner. Okay, so the next cupboard I need to tackle is this one. Now this is my bacon cupboard. It just needs a bit of a tidy to be fair. It doesn't really need like anything thrown out as such. It just needs a good little sort through and then um, we'll be right on top. to start on our tea and coffee section. Zara's has taken a little 10 minute break from work. Um, we are, we're big tea and coffee drinkers, aren't we? To the extent we have three shelves dedicated to it. <laughs> Zara's has made me a cup of tea actually, funny enough. I am, um, I feel like we truly conform to the British stereotype. I do conform to the British stereotype that more tea is more. Um, so I just need to go through all of these and just maybe con like condense it down. These jars um, are nice though. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? I forgot where they're from.
Okay, okay so this is looking a lot more organized. So this is our tea section. Then we have our coffee section here. So this is all the like the Nespresso pods. We've just got some like instant coffee sachets and some Horlicks. And then I've just got like a, well, this is like my coffee paraphernalia. So we've got um, just sort of things like coffee cups and things like that. And then the top shelf's looking pretty empty. It's just some cooler bags and some little sippy cups for iced coffee. And then this drawer is just full of our reusable water bottles, little protein shakers, um, sippy cups as well. This is what we got from Thought Park and Tupperware. So this is looking really good. So this is the baking cupboard. I didn't actually film doing this because it didn't really need that much doing at all. It was mostly just organizing it. Um, there are a couple of empties that I just need to fill up. So I need some more brown sugar. Um, these are some walnuts that we just need to fill and there's some muscovado sugar. But apart from that, it's looking pretty good. Um, up top I've just got some bacon tins. That's pretty much everything. So look at that. That is so much more organized. Oh, it makes me really happy. A really good tip that I um, do a lot in the kitchen, I don't have one of those fancy label makers. I mean, I probably should get one, but they're quite expensive and I never really find a need for them. So I fashion labels out of things. So I'm just gonna cut this little segment of the organic pasta flour and then just tape it on here. So this is pasta flour type O. So I'm just gonna quickly cut this out. And then I just lay it over the top of what was in there. And then I just tape it on. I know it's not the most like aesthetically beautiful thing and I know a lot of people have like the same matching jars and it looks like stunning and all that stuff but you know there we are organic pasta flour in a jar and now I've left the best drawer to last this is our SHIT drawer and um yeah it's not it's not looking too great <laughs> this is essentially where we put well it's very for everything but um yeah there's a lot going on so we've got some chopping boards it's just things like, I feel like every kitchen has one of these. These are like manuals, for like our coffee machine, the blender. Okay, so I have finished. I'm very, very happy with how everything's turned out. This is the bacon cupboard. It's looking very organized. Like I said, I didn't really do too much in here at all. Just decanted some things and give everything a bit of a rearrange so everything's forward facing. This is our spice cupboard, dry store, and like crackers and biscuits and stuff like that. Just basically lots of circular stuff. It's like pastas and garlics up there. Everything here is stuff that we use a lot. And then underneath, these are our sweet treats and excess oils and flours. And then we have all of our cereals and like protein bits down there. This is like a surplus bacon cupboard with some crisps and some popcorn. So that's all looking organized too. This is our tea and coffee section. It's looking very much more organized. This is all of our teas, herbal teas, coffees, coffee paraphernalia, and like instants. Cutlery drawer, I haven't really done too much at all. That's just constantly organized. I feel like we've got this on lockdown. Lockdown. <laughs> this is our SHIT drawer. And it's not longer an SHIT drawer. It's just a drawer that's full of SHIT, but clean. And then this is the draw that makes me very happy. Oh, that. Mm. Amazing. Perfect. And that's everything. Everything else is pretty much good to go. Fantastic. If you have enjoyed this little kitchen organized with me and you've been very much inspired to do your own, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm very much in the mood to get organized now. I just love having everything in here where it should be it just feels so good so yeah thank you so much for watching if you have found it useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button and i'll catch you guys very soon bye for now